Good afternoon. David Cameron has denied accusations that a new scheme offering parents support is the policy of a nanny state. This morning, Downing Street launched a new online information service offering videos with advice for mums-to-be and new families. Support via text and email is also being offered alongside vouchers for parenting classes. But while many groups have welcomed the move, critics say it's patronising and the help is not guaranteed to reach those who really need it. In a moment, we'll be speaking to parenting experts, but first, Nick Thatcher has the details. No child comes with a manual for parents, so the government hopes that these new films on subjects such as how to bath your baby and how to spot the symptoms of postnatal depression will support mums and dads at that crucial time when many would welcome a helping hand. I just had a day where I just thought, I can't do this anymore. David Cameron told parents this morning he wants to make life easier for them, but his critics call this the nanny state, interfering where it shouldn't. We're taught how to drive a car, we're taught all sorts of things at school. I think it makes perfect sense to help people with parenting. I wish I'd had more help and advice. So do parents at this North London Children's Centre welcome this extra support? I'm not sure actually having texts and emails is, or you know, other resources telling you what to do is the right way. The more difficult stuff is the kind of emotional stuff, you know, how to deal with a toddler's moods and those sorts of things I find trickier that you need more help with. I think that's quite hard to learn from a video. But according to the Department for Education, 85% of parents surveyed would welcome help during their child's early years. So the government will spend three and a half million pounds on providing information, including videos, texts and emails, as well as an additional five million pounds on parenting classes in three trial areas. Parents will be able to access these classes with a voucher worth £100. But Labour says the money would be better spent on existing services like SureStart. The trouble is sure has been cut by 20% from this government and you know the services have been hollowed out so if the government had really believed in this agenda they wouldn't have cut that money in the first place. The new initiatives follow last summer's riots which ministers blame in part on the breakdown in discipline but while many parents will welcome the additional support online critics claim the help is not guaranteed to reach those who need it most. Nick Thatcher, ITV News. Well, joining me in the studio now is Pamela Park, who is the Chief Executive of Parenting UK, and also parenting expert Liz Fraser, who is joining us from Cambridge. Uh, let's go to you first, Pamela. This is a lot of money. This is £5 million for the classes just in the trial areas, three of them. Is it money well spent? It is. It is. Raising a child is the most important job in the world. And we know that the early years of a child's life are so important in shaping their future. So if we can get the early years parenting right, then the likelihood that children don't get involved in trouble down the road and do have high educational achievement is much greater. And this website idea, can people really learn how to raise a child from a website? Parents have told us that they want more information and advice on parenting. Isn't that what Google's for? But the problem with Google is there's, there's no guarantee that the information you will find comes from a trusted source. So both the website that's been launched today but also the Ken Parent Network provides information that is quality assured, that can be trusted by parents. Okay, well, uh, Liz Fraser in Cambridge, you were listening to that. Uh, money well spent, we're told. I welcome anything which helps people to parent their children better and cope better with parenting, okay? So I think this is a trial scheme. We have to let it go and let's see what happens. But really, as you said in the introduction there, you know, the parents who really need help parenting are parents who are just not coping at all. And I mean, I know through the work that I do, through talking to social workers who go into schools, local schools where I am here, there are parents out there who don't get their children up in the morning. They don't get them out of bed. They give them a packet of wine gums for breakfast and send them off to school. A parent like that, faced with a £100 parenting voucher, A, probably won't take it up, and B, won't get what they really need in order to parent better. Parenting classes do help people, they almost certainly do, oh, not almost, they absolutely certainly do. And as you said in your report, Sure Start existed, the government's taken a lot of money away from Sure Start, now they're ploughing millions back into this, and really what I feel in the, from the work that I do is that we need to be dealing with the really massive core problems. Okay, but how, how do you, how do you deal with that? How do you get to money? those parents who give their kids wine gums for breakfast, as you put it? 
it's extremely difficult. The way that you, you don't get to them is by putting things online because most of these people won't have access to the internet anyway. And if they did, there are places online that you can go. We need much better support through GPs, through social services. We're dealing with people who, who are illiterate, who have no job, who have no hope, who have no money. Often there's depression, violence, alcoholism involved, okay? A £100 parenting voucher or going online is not going to help those people. It certainly will help people who go, who want to know you know, how to deal with a difficult toddler, etc, okay. etc. But we, th th those problems have always existed. Why, where, and just by the way, quickly, where so is this me, money I, I'm coming I'm going to interrupt from? you that. Just because yeah. a very, very quick answer to that, if you will, Pamela. What, it is a point, isn't it? It is, but there's a continuum of support for families out there. There's, there's a whole range of the Troubled Families Unit that focuses on the really complex needs. But the problem that we have is that there's still a stigma about seeking advice and support okay. in relation to parenting. If we can change the culture in the country where seeking help and advice is absolutely normal, then not only will the parenting across the board improve, but those that are facing particular challenges are okay. more likely to access the help that's available. I wish we had more time. Uh, Liz Fraser in Cambridge and Pamela here. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.